The Roanoke Colony was established in 1585 on Roanoke Island in present-day North Carolina. Sir Walter Raleigh was granted a charter by Queen Elizabeth I to organize England's first colony in North America. He organized and funded three voyages to Roanoke. In 1584, we first landed at Roanoke. In 1585, I dispatched over 100 men to settle there, but most returned in 1586 after encountering problems with the Native Americans. In 1587, Raleigh again sent over 100 people, led by John White, to settle on Roanoke Island. Later in 1587, White's granddaughter, Virginia Dare, became the first English child born in America. White had to return to England in 1587. When he returned to Roanoke in 1590, the colony and its settlers were gone, hence the name The Lost Colony. A couple of tree carvings were the only clues left behind. The Roanoke Colony is significant because it represents England's early attempts at colonization in North America. It also holds a place in history as one of America's oldest mysteries. The Jamestown Colony was the first permanent English settlement in North America. It was located in present-day Virginia and named after King James I, who chartered the Virginia Company to set up the colony. Over a hundred of us arrived on the shores of the James River in May 1607, intending to soon go back to England. Unfortunately, many died in the first years to disease, famine, and hostilities with the natives. There was a period of peace and prosperous trade between us and the settlers starting in 1608. Unfortunately, relationships deteriorated when Smith left in 1609. In 1610, John Rolfe arrived and introduced tobacco farming, saving the colony from financial ruin. He would eventually marry Pocahontas, the daughter of Chief Powhatan in 1614. Jamestown became a thriving tobacco colony. Its legacy, however, includes both democracy and slavery. In 1619, a general assembly was established. The same year, pirates brought the first enslaved Africans to Jamestown. In 1620, over 100 pilgrims set sail from Europe for the New World and established the Plymouth Colony, the first permanent settlement in New England. The Pilgrims, who were English separatists, fled England due to religious oppression. After 66 days on the Mayflower, they arrived near Cape Cod and settled in December in Plymouth. After a harsh winter where many died, the colony began to prosper thanks to the help of the native people who taught them about local farming and hunting practices. The strong leadership from William Bradford and Miles Standish contributed to the colony's success. Additionally, the Mayflower Compact, signed by the initial pilgrims in 1620, was a binding social contract and agreement that created a set of rules that would govern the colony. Overall, Plymouth is considered a success story. The pilgrim spirit of independence, self-government, and cooperation amongst its members helped it become a thriving colony. In 1691, Plymouth Colony merged with the Massachusetts Bay Colony to form the province of Massachusetts Bay. The Massachusetts Bay Colony was founded in 1630 by a group of Puritans who left England for religious freedom. 700 Puritans left England on 11 ships under the leadership of John Winthrop and arrived 60 miles south of Plymouth in Salem in June 1630. This tight-knit Puritan community established a society based on hard work and strict Puritan values. Dissenters were often prosecuted and outsiders were generally not welcome. Fishing, livestock, farming, lumber, and shipbuilding were all significant industries contributing to the colony's economic success. The colony was involved in several conflicts with the Native Americans. In 1637, the Puritans fought the Pequot. King Philip's War broke out in 1675 with the indigenous people led by Metacomet, the Wampanoag chief who had adopted the name Philip. As more settlers arrived, the colonies moved inland, including one renamed Boston in 1630. In 1691, the Massachusetts Bay Colony was merged with the neighboring colony of Plymouth to form the province of Massachusetts Bay.